Google Search supports multiple shopping experiences in search results, broadly referred to as merchant listing experiences. These experiences include product snippets, which add details to search results, such as their star ratings, price, and availability, popular products, which shows a set of similar products that may be of interest to the shopper, shopping knowledge panels, which display deeper information about a product and lists multiple sellers, and image search, which can annotate images of products available for sale. For your product web pages to be eligible for these experiences, Google needs rich product data. The first decision to make is whether to provide your product data via structured data on web pages, via a Google Merchant Center feed, or both. Google recommends doing both if you can. If starting out, you might decide to start with structured data on web pages, then add a Google Merchant Center auto feed, which creates a feed from your web page content, and then grow into providing a direct, high quality product data feed. You can check for existing structured data on your product pages using View Source in your web browser. Look for structured data with type product. You'll need to talk to your technical team to determine if you have a Google Merchant Center feed, as it cannot be detected from web page content. If you are using a platform, refer to your platform documentation to see if you have any control over structured data embedded on web pages. Also check if there's any built-in support for Google Merchant Center feeds. Beyond that, check your platform extension marketplace to see if there are any relevant third-party extensions. It is likely that built-in support or installing an extension is your most practical path forwards. If you're developing your own site, check out our online technical documentation on both adding product structured data to web pages and creating Google Merchant Center feeds. If you decide to add structured data, how to make sure it's correct? Google Search Console includes a merchant listing report that shows issues found in your product structured data relevant to merchant listing experiences. Fixing your structured data is dependent upon how it is provided. After making a correction, you can use the URL inspection tool in Search Console to check if all issues have been addressed. Product pricing can be complex. The simplest form of price is a single amount specified along with its currency. But there are many more advanced forms of pricing, such as quantity discounts or special offers for VIP customers. While Google supports an increasing range of options, your site may use a form of pricing not supported by Google Search. So what do you do? The first step is to review the pricing options used on your website then read through the Google documentation on pricing models to see what it supports. I recommend periodically reviewing the Google pricing documentation as new pricing options may be added over time. Once you know what pricing your site uses and what Google supports, you may need to simplify the pricing data you provide to Google. For example, provide Google the price of a quantity of one, even if you offer discounts for purchases with higher quantities. This is to avoid shoppers becoming upset if one price is shown in Google search results, but a higher price is shown after arriving on your site. It erodes trust. Shipping information is also popular in search results, such as shipping costs. Free shipping is particularly attractive to shoppers. I already mentioned pricing can be complicated. Well, shipping can be even more so. Shipping costs can be influenced by many factors, such as carrier used, total order weight and dimensions, shipping distance, and more. To see if your listings are being correctly annotated with shipping costs, use a site query so you can see your products in search results. You can check for errors in shipping structured data via the Merchant Listing Report and Search Console. Otherwise, use the Google Merchant Center Console if you provide shipping details that way. Like pricing, you may need to simplify the shipping information you provide to match what Google supports. Check out our online documentation for current capabilities and keep an eye out for updates 
as more capabilities may be added over time. If in doubt, like pricing, it may be safer to overestimate shipping costs to avoid surprising customers at checkout with higher than expected charges. Eligibility to many merchant listing experiences requires you to provide product identifiers, such as a GTIN number, an NPN number, or a brand and product name. The more you can provide, the better. A SKU, or stock keeping unit, is not an acceptable product identifier as it is not consistent across merchants. For example, the shopping knowledge panel displays multiple sellers of a product. This matching is more reliable if a strong product identifier is present on your product pages. To see if GTIN or similar product identifiers are present in your web pages, inspect the structured data markup. Also check the Merchant Center report in Google Search Console for warnings or error messages related to product identifiers. Your Google Merchant Center feed should also be checked if used. To fix any issues, add a supported form of product identifier. How to add an identifier depends on your specific platform or implementation. There are many options for merchant experiences on Google. Check out the Google Merchant Center online help to understand the full richness of information you can provide. Also check out the Google Search Central documentation site for information on product structured data supported by Google. While structured data currently supports fewer features than a Google Merchant Center feed, the gap is closing as new capabilities are added over time. To keep up with possible future directions, you may also like to check out the schema.org site for the broader set of structured data for e-commerce sites. Schema.org markup is used by search engines beyond Google. That's all for this episode. To be notified of new content, please subscribe. Until next time.